Hi, I'm Lauren Bregetzer, the audio professor, and this is the first video in a series where I'm testing out and reviewing every plugin subscription bundle and mixing a song completely with those plugins. In a case where there's a plugin type missing, such as a delay, I'll just use a stock version of that plugin. My criteria for evaluating each subscription bundle are as follows. What are the strengths of these bundled plugins? What are the weaknesses? What's missing and what needs to be supplemented with to be a complete solution? Who is the target audience for the subscription? Can an entire song be mixed only using this bundle? And do I think it's a good value? I'm starting off with a little bit of a different one, the Reason Plus subscription. It's an odd choice to start with since it leans heavily on software, synths, and samples. So why start with this one? Because I accidentally clicked the button to start my free trial a few days ago, so I had seven days to get this video made. So when talking about Reason Plus, I'm only gonna talk about the audio effects plugins. The first thing you should know is that all of the Reason effects show up within a Reason effects rack instance. This is where you drag any effects modules inside that rack. This is similar to Slate Digital's Virtual Mix Rack or Mic DSP's 6060 modules. Starting off with mixing drums, the main EQ and compressor from Reason are modeled off of the SSL G and E series console. The SSL console is a classic sound that's been used for decades. The EQ is great, but the compressor isn't as versatile as I'd want on most things. I really like the way the SSL style EQ sounds here, especially on drums. It even has a button to toggle between the G series curve and the E series curve, which is slightly different, and some engineers prefer that. When it came to using the reverb on the drums, I was pleasantly surprised. The updated RV7000 doesn't look like much, but it packs both convolution and standard algorithmic reverbs, and they all sound pretty great. Uh, it's much improved from the reverb when I first used Reason 15 years ago. And placing the SSL style master compressor over the drum submix and using it as a parallel compressor was a nice addition. It was also a welcome sight to actually see a makeup gain for the compressor, as everything else has that SSL style auto makeup gain, which I absolutely hate. When it came to getting the bass in the mix, I was really wanting the sound of an 1176 compressor. The reason console compressor was not doing the trick for me, you really need to focus on your gain staging to get the most out of that compressor, which can be a pain in the ass. I did discover the pulverizer, which adds some coloring and compression to the sound. It's a little tricky to work with, but I was ultimately able to get the grittier sound that I was looking for. I was experimenting with the bass cab simulator, but I couldn't quite get the sound I wanted, so your mileage may vary with it. I wish there were more presets and cabinets available to choose from on there. The Neptune pitch correction worked pretty well for vocals. It wasn't as transparent as I would have liked. It does give you the ability to set it to a specific scale and add any accidentals that you may need. I was able to tweak the correction speed and preserve expression to ultimately get a sound that I was satisfied with. However, when I did solo the track, I was hearing weird artifacts when the vocalist was breathing, so something weird's going on. The Neptune does do some pitch to MIDI functions, which I didn't specifically need to use, but it could be fun in certain situations. The vocals were tricky since I like to use serial compression, and the SSL style compressor is not conducive to serial compression since I need precise control of the output gain to get it to work. I opted to use the M-Class compressor, their mastering compressor, and it seemed to work pretty well. Now I was in desperate need of a de for the vocals. There's no dedicated de preset in the main effects. However, I was able to find a de preset in the Combinator, which is like a preset arrangement of devices, similar to an effects rack in Ableton Live. I do usually like to add a touch of pitch shifter to the vocals. I experimented with a quartet ensemble device, but I couldn't dial in the sound that I was looking for. Again, the RV7000 reverb device did not disappoint me at all when I was looking for a plate reverb for the vocals. It was just great. The delay I found to be very useful with a nice coloration to it. It was certainly more than a standard stock delay and allowing different distortion colorations to be added was great. Across the mix bus, the SSL style bus compressor sounds excellent. I just went with a gentle two to one ratio since I'm going to attempt to master this track and reason for my next video. Overall, I found the processor usage to be quite light. I think with all the reason effects, my computer at 2018 MacBook Pro was only hitting maybe 15% on the processor at most, which is quite efficient. So now the final evaluation. What are the strengths of these bundled plugins? The EQ sounds great, as well as the bus compressor. And there seems to be pretty much one of everything you could possibly need, so most of your bases are covered. What do I feel are the weaknesses of this bundle? Well, just like its strength where there's one of everything, there's usually only one of everything. I wanted a more versatile compressor or one that had different compression modes, and that just wasn't there. I was also wanting a de that was something I just dragged into a session, and that wasn't easily found. Another thing, the modular interface is huge. It fills up almost the entire screen. I'm completely unable to select different parts of the song with my cursor with the plugin interface open. 
Some plugins seemed to have easy presets to start out with, and others didn't have presets that were easy to get to at all. So who do I think is the target audience for this subscription? This is a subscription bundle that tries to be everything. It has software instruments, audio effects, and even a sound library subscription. It seems to give you a fair amount of everything, and it's all pretty good, but rarely amazing. Because Reason Plus relies so heavily on its software instruments, as well as the subscription sample library, it's best suited for mostly electronic musicians. The audio effects are there, but with a minimal amount of diversity. I think this would best be suited for beginning audio engineers who need some of everything, but don't want to be overwhelmed by decisions. Can an entire song be mixed with this bundle? Yes. Although in a perfect world, I'd want better pitch correction and more compression options, the ingredients are all there even though it seems like you got some of your ingredients from the dollar store rather than Whole Foods. Do I think a subscription bundle is a good value? At $20 a month, I think it is if you're gonna use the software instruments a lot. If not, there are better options for audio plugins around the same price point. The audio effects here seem to be designed to supplement the software instruments. Hopefully you found this information helpful. Stay tuned for more audio subscription bundle reviews. I'll try to post one new one every week. So if you know of one you want me to get to, leave a comment below or just let me know what your thoughts are. Have fun and keep making music.